you found the Sharks Broadcast Podcast. Subscribe, and if you like what you hear, give us a five-star rating. Get 15% off a set of Brake Mess Select, Select Pro, or Import Direct brake pads and two rotors now at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Worst concert experience ever. It's a Shark Morning Show with Sarah and A-Train. I feel like um, I, I really... That when I'm bringing things to the table is in my own experience, yes. Sarah, that I'm, I can't compete with what everybody else is doing. On our Facebook page, you can chime in. Uh, it's right there. We got some really bad experiences. That con- We're sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is the only thing that I can think of. Like, I saw a page and plant at Boston Garden back mm-hmm. in, like, 1995. And uh, my brother and I had a guy behind us screaming, Stairway to Heaven screaming stairway to heaven for two and a half oh, hours God. and uh did you turn my, around yeah, and it, just say for the love of so, mike i i gave him a look my brother said could you stop screaming in my ear please that worked for about 90 seconds and oh. i can just steal still hear that guy going stay away <laughs> i mean in your ear for <laughs> two and a half hours and of course i, I was just like i almost oh. wonder if they're going to get annoyed enough like we, because we were behind the stage. Yeah. The amazing tickets that we had, we were kind of like, you know, behind the drum kit and the speakers. <laughs> and uh, I almost wonder, like, are they going to get annoyed enough to hear this and then go, all right, well, look, we haven't played this since Live Aid in 1985, but this guy is so annoying. Well, let's play it for him. Oh, that was awful. <laughs> I'm sorry about that train. <laughs> that was a rough oh, one. Oh my gosh! Seriously, I mean, just scream the the, the bad fans. You know, is just screaming. Is, yeah, that's fans can one. make or break your oh. experience. That yeah. that's definitely for sure. My yeah. gosh, I've I've had you know experiences like that before, but um, one is the Billy Joel experience. <laughs> do, do you remember I, that? I was waiting for this one. Yeah. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> well, a friend of mine got. Uh, uh, Four throw tickets for Billy Joel because he knew how much I love Billy Joel at the garden. Not only that, but uh, he got a limousine as well. So I, your girl here was pumped. Yep. I was so excited. I'm like, oh, my goodness. So excited. So before we left the house, I had a flute of champagne. OK. Because I thought, OK, that's, you know, that's classy. Oh, yes. Yeah, classy. We're going into a, <laughs> into a, a limousine. OK. So then. We drive down there. I think I maybe had another flute of champagne in the limousine. Yeah. So then we decided, okay, we've got a little bit of time before the show. Let's go have a martini. That was a bad idea. Uh Uh-oh. So I had one martini, and I had another martini. Okay. That's a lot of alcohol. Oh, all right. a lot. I am a lightweight yeah. And usually one martini is going to put me on the floor. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that there was this many drinks. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So now you've got the picture. Uh-huh. So now it's time to go into the garden because he was playing at the Boston Garden. Okay. So I'm at the Boston Garden and I'm looking around and I am I am like uh, not in any shape. <laughs> to be like I'm walking okay, but there might have been a stumble or two, you know. So someone pulls me out of the crowd. Oh. Uh. Puts me into this room, and uh, I'm just kind of like hanging out. I'm like half, <laughs> half with it, half not. And by the way, did I mention it was an? I was drinking on an empty stomach. Oh yeah, not eaten. Oh that yeah. Whenever that happens, I can't even see straight. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. right, right. So I'm sitting there, and I'm like, okay. All of a sudden, I hear the atmosphere. I'm sorry, she can't go into the show. You oh. can go in, but she can't. Oh. So I lift my head up. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm thinking, what? I'm sorry, you can't go into the show. I said, why? Huh. <laughs> and they said, public intoxication. Wow. Yeah. See, I didn't know that they had a uh, little holding pen area. Oh. I feel I feel like there's been a lot of my stories of run-ins with the law yeah. lately, hasn't there? 
Just My get goodness. Get some Bobby Fuller four on. I, I, I fought the law and the <laughs> law one. But that wasn't that wasn't even like the jail thing. It was just like, whoa, let's right. just, let's have a let's sit her over here for a second and figure out what's going on. Right. Oh. Right. I couldn't Right. I knew you would think that they would just keep me in the holding pen or whatever at the garden. Yeah, a little bit of, you know, they'll check out how you're doing and then go, All right, she's fine. Yeah. Get her back in. But no, you failed. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. Denied. So denied. did you just do like the walk of shame and then you went to the limo and that was the end of the night? We were home by nine. 30. Oh, it was really bad. Oh, it was so I felt so sad. Huh. And I was telling another friend of mine about it uh, after the show. And he goes, what public intoxication? They let Billy Joel in, <laughs> 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 which I thought was yeah. wicked. Funny. He likes his wine. I know. Yeah. I know. But it taught me a lesson, though. You know, <laughs> yeah. I, I can't drink on an empty stomach. Like yeah, that, so, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. We'll take your concert horror stories right there on our Facebook page. Here's what's trending on SeacoastCurrent.com. All right, here's what's trending today. A lack of bus drivers is affecting the coast services in Maine and New Hampshire. A fundraiser for a beloved Dover, New Hampshire cheerleader nets over $22,000. And get a COVID-19 shot in Maine? You can up the vaccination land jackpot. Details on those stories and more on the free-to-download Seacoast Current app. Be current. Stay current at SeacoastCurrent.com. Shark Sports and Weather coming up next. Wee-oo! <laughs> it's 716. It's the Shark Morning Show with Sarah and Adrian. That's one of my favorite sounds, you know. <laughs> the feedback? No. At the very end? Or? No, no. Oh. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. Okay. Colin used to do that when he was a baby. And, uh, you know, when he was doing the, you know, trucks in the living room and stuff. Oh, yeah. And that would be the noise Siren. of the am- ambulance. Yeah, That's right. Very wee-oo, good. Wee-oo, wee-oo. <laughs> so cute. Oh, where is that little boy? He's now a full, fully cooked adult. <laughs> um, anywho, it is time now for the brain strain. And we've got a father's theme going on, Train. Yeah, this is cool. Of course, uh, all dads love Indiana Jones because the Raiders of the Lost Ark 40th anniversary uh, DVD special thing that uh, I'll get you if uh, you solve it. New England dads, Sarah. New England dads. Yeah. The number one sports related bucket list activity that they want to do mm-hmm. is this. Oh. New England Dads, the number one sports-related bucket list activity that they'd like to do is this. What is it? Oh, number one. Wow. All right. Well, hey, give it a shot. 877-45-SHARK. That's 877-457-4275. If you get the answer that we're looking for, you win an incredible prize. I think it's like a DVD or something. Oh, I'm telling you, Indiana Jones, <laughs> 40th anniversary with all the bells and whistles. Maybe, I, you know, they may not come with a bullwhip, but it might. It'd pay. It might. Yeah. might even have the hat. Who knows? <laughs> We've got the Beach Boys, Boys to Men, all on the way in the Shark. So, the Shark Morning Show, man. It's going to be a gorgeous day today. Beautiful today yeah. and tomorrow. 79 and sunny. Tomorrow, 82 and sunny. We're rocking Woo-hoo! the uh, brain strain here on a Thursday morning, as I like to call it. Almost through with the week Thursday. Yep. And uh, number one thing that New England dads want to do on their bucket list, it's a sports-related thing. What is it? Okay, 877 shark We gave you quite a hint before. Think loud and Good morning. What's your guess? Drive around a racetrack with their child. That's close enough. Close, yeah. but no cigar, huh? Yeah, well, no, it's, that's, well, it's we'll, close enough. Yeah, you, you, yeah. Get, you can get the cigar for that one. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sure, you sure. have made my husband's father's day. Oh, good. Right. That's fantastic. I can't tell you how much my husband is into Indiana Jones, the gear, the whip, the everything. Oh, right. wow. Now, this does not include the whip. Train was just yeah, kidding was, about that. Okay. He doesn't need a whip. He's got okay. one. He practices outside. Right. Oh, my Oh, Lord. my God. My grandchildren just drew a picture of the bull whip. Oh, my gosh. This is exciting. Wow. All right. All right. You hang on just for one sec, okay? But, of course, thank All right. you. Hang on. All right. That's awesome. Yeah. Yay. Happy Father's Day. 40th anniversary Raiders of the Lost Ark. One of my faves, too. I really like that. You know what? I'm going to go back and watch that at some point. I don't think an Indiana Jones never drove a race car, but um, that he, is yeah. So that's a, that's the number one thing, well, right? Yeah, what they, yeah, that's what they want to do. They want to drive a NASCAR, drive a race car. Mm-hmm. Uh, you did that, Sarah. Did that very well. There, there's gear, gears involved and there, stuff. There are yeah. gears. Wow. Yeah, it's four on the floor. Okay, you know, um, 
give myself street cred for that. Yeah, that's very good. Four on the floor. (laughs) I know, there's like Uh, a throttle. (laughs) Yeah, so... There, you have earplugs, right? And huh. I went up to NASCAR for the, a media day, and it's coming up, actually. It's this month again. And all kinds of media people go, and they're able to get into the race car and go around the track a few times. Yeah, well, it's it's timed. It's timed, yeah. yeah. And there are um, there are t- prizes, you know, so you and I went up, right? And um, did you go around, too? No, I, I was you the first one. I, yeah, I suited up, and I went in the passenger side. Because I cannot be trusted behind uh, any sort of manual operated uh, vehicle. <laughs> Forget well, it. <laughs> when we went up, um, Sean McDonald from MUR won mm. the, the media race. Yeah, they might have done that. Just I would never say this, but you know, Chronicle they probably get the extra. Oh no, yeah. I don't think so. It was I legit. Think it, it was legit. Okay. okay. Yeah, he was. You know, he did really well. They did give me a trophy for coming in dead last. Oh. Uh, at the Speedway, I had Danica Patrick's car. Oh, yeah, I remember and, that. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So yeah. my earpiece wouldn't work. Uh-oh. So they couldn't tell me to pull in. So oh, okay. I kept going around and around and around. All of a sudden, I see some guy in my way. I'm like, whoa. I had to put on the brakes. They had like the green flags or whatever. Say, <laughs> no, Come they on put in. a oh, guy. Oh, oh, okay. I'm like, wow, there's Brave. <laughs> Just like, get that lady off the track. Yeah, they're tough. Oh. oh that's Yeah, that was cool. I had I just remember they had awesome lobster mac and cheese. <laughs> that was all I remember. <laughs> <laughs> My friend Shannon works up there. We could go up there again if you want. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, if you've never been up to the Speedway, it's wicked fun. Yeah. It's a really good time. Super nice. Yeah. yeah. We've got Toto, Fleetwood Mac all on the way on the Shark. Full day. Never mind a lonely day. It's 744. It's the yeah. Shark Morning Show. 79 and sunny. Absolutely perfect, according to our P. Gagnon and Sun Shark Seacoast forecast. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got horror stories from concerts right there. Facebook.com. Of course, you can hit us up on the Shark app as well. I think this one, uh, it might, it just might take the cake as um, we had, uh, what well, was Hank Williams Jr. Can I say it was Hank Williams Jr.? Of course. Okay. I think this one. He's a legend. Yes. Or he was, I should say. We got. Uh, he's, he's long dead. Yeah. Oh, no. Hank Williams Jr. Is, oh, he's a, uh, Hank Williams Sr. Oh, he's long is dead. His dad, yeah. His, fa- his son. But uh, that's. Alive the, and well. That's good, though, Sarah, because it has <laughs> a very big part of the story. <laughs> okay. Uh, on Facebook.com uh, slash Shark Morning Show is uh, Amy said that. Uh, so uh, Hank Williams Jr. comes out, says, Hey, if you like Hank Williams Sr. more than me, you can bump, 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 you know, saying bad things. And he smashes a bottle of Jack Daniels on the stage, and he leaves. That was the end of the show. Did he fight? He have a big fight with his father or something, and didn't like it when people. You're his son. You bear his name. I'm I, sorry I, about nobody that. Nobody even did anything. He just walked wow. out. And it was like, ladies and gentlemen, Hank Williams Jr. <sighs> you like Hank Williams Sr. better than me? Bum bum bum. He said a bad bad thing. And then he smashes the bottle. That's it. No show. He's done. We had somebody tell us about that on Facebook? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. That's terrible. I went to go see U2 (laughs) at the Boston Garden, and I love U2. We play U2 here in the Shark. I'm a big fan. But Bono got on stage at the Garden, and he said, this isn't the beat. We aren't the Beatles. Quiet down. We're not the Beatles. Ah. Shut up, Bono. Oh, that's we kind paid of a, a lot of money to see you. Yeah, we can scream if we want that's to. It's a very rock star entitled diva ish thing to say, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I don't like that one bit. I don't like oh. that one bit either. Can I? Can I share a quickie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, what? I was a big Nine Inch Nails fan. Trent Reznor now does movie soundtracks and TV soundtracks, but back when he was a rock star, he's still a rock star. He does. He did Nine Inch Nails, his band, right? Yeah. Very kind of goth. You know, rock band. He was playing Nine Inch Nails, teamed up with David Bowie. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I know uh, Bowie's a big fan. They had uh, his song, I'm Afraid of Americans, was a great tune. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. It was during that time that we went to go see him, a friend of mine. So uh, this friend of mine, uh, I went down to meet her at her house, and uh, we were just about ready to go, and we're all decked out. It's it's the late 80s, early 90s, right? This Probably early 90s, I would say. Uh-huh. So we're decked, right? And we're going to a Nine Inch Nails concert. All right. Okay. All right. We're all ready. I'm pumped up. I'm so excited that I'm going to see David Bowie. I'd never seen him in oh, yeah. concert either. Okay. So she apparently left her keys inside 
the apartment inside of her apartment oh, and no. shut and lock the door. Oh, so uh, we realize it when we're outside. She's like looking for a key. She can't find her keys. So I'm like, oh god. I said, it's okay. Let's just take my car. Let I get my car. Let's go. We're like, you know, late. Yeah. Okay. But what are we gonna do when we get back? I won't be able to get in, and it's gonna be like you know, oh, twelve midnight. thirty or yeah. one yeah, yeah, yeah. in the morning. So I'm like. Okay, let's just find your keys. So she's looking around, can't find her keys. We eventually had to break a window in her okay. apartment. She went in, got her keys. And this this took a lot of time. And we were late as it is, right? So, okay, we finally get to the venue. <laughs> I'm running. I'm like running, running, running. I hear Head Like a Hole, which is a Nine Inch Nails tune. Uh, I'm like, go. oh, okay. We get to our seats Trent Reznor says, and now I'd like to introduce David Bowie. We missed all of Nine Inch Nails. Oh, not a thing. You saw, a, you saw probably two seconds I of... I heard uh, yeah. Head Like a Hole, Aww. sat down. I mean, I saw David Bowie, so yeah. that's something, you know, but anyway. Oh, that, that's too bad. Yeah. You missed the whole opening act of what you wanted to see. God, yeah. I know. We got a million of them. If you want to share your uh, concert stories, I do like that one, Hank Williams Jr., though. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh, that's all. I can't imagine that. Yeah. You just, uh, nothing, a no show. That's it. I don't know what you get. You get a refund. She didn't say if they got a refund of the tickets or anything. I mean, come on. They're, Smashes they're a bottle. It says a rude, very rude thing, and then walks off. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Yes. <laughs> Human League coming up next. <laughs> Raj Beat Video. It is yeah. a very upbeat video. It's true. So coming up just after 8 o'clock, what are you going to be talking about, Train? Well, Sarah, this uh, today is going to be one of the last things that you'll have to uh, endure from the train. I know it's just one of those things that I just I, basically behind... I don't uh, endure train. I but, enjoy well, train. I know, but behind the scenes, here, here's pretty much right. Sarah, 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 Sarah. And I did tell her the you know, same things over and over again that are running through my brain. Well, one of these things is going to be going away real soon. Oh, really? Yep. One of the things where I go, Sarah, 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 Sarah. Oh, okay. Does yep. it have to do with the governor? Yes. Okay. All right. That's coming up just after 8 o'clock. Here's what's trending on SeacoastCurrent.com. What's trending all powered by LDI Solutions. Online at LDISolutions.com. Well, a fundraiser for a beloved Dover, New Hampshire cheerleader nets over $22,000. A Rochester man has been indicted of possession of child pornography. And get a COVID-19 shot in Maine. And you can up the vaccination land jackpot. Details on those stories and more on the free to download Seacoast Current app. Be current. Stay current at SeacoastCurrent.com. We've got short uh, <laughs> shark sports and weather coming up next. June 17th, a gorgeous day today. We're going to have sunshine and happiness all day. Temps in the upper 70s. So you can take your very long walk today after the show, Train. Yeah, I may go an extra 40, 50 yards on that one. Yeah. Absolutely. And I know, uh, I'm, uh, you, yeah, Sarah, every th Thursday you know that like if I look up and it's, you know, I don't know, 2.35 in the afternoon, I run out of here on a full sprint because yeah. I got to watch the uh, New Hampshire State of the COVID Prevention Press Conference yes. with the governor, Dr. Benjamin Chan, Dr. Beth Daly. Yeah, and uh, the sign language guy. Yes, the David Kruger. Yes. Huge fan of them. They're, they've been like the New Hampshire's Fleetwood Mac. Of uh, of the press conferences, really, <laughs> uh, over the past oh, I don't you know year we got fifteen months going on. Today is going to be the last official one. Uh, today is the finale of all of the press conferences on the uh, response, the state response to COVID nineteen. I mean, you know the you know, the vaccination situation. You got the kids coming out of school; they're yep. getting out of school. Mm -hmm. uh, there's two hundred and sixty eight active cases in New Hampshire. You know, it's just kind of time to shut Move it down. On, yeah, and uh, that's what they're doing. So uh, I'm. I'm Still looking forward to it. It's been uh, very, you know, very calming, a calming influence to know not only, you know, what's going on, but what's going to happen. And uh, yeah. I've, I've just I've watched every minute that I can. OK. And I've been filling your behind the scenes with Sarah. And then they said and Sarah and Sarah and Sarah and Sarah and Sarah. And, Sarah, and that's going to stop. Uh, well, that's good train. That's good. Yeah. I'm Anything that calms your fears and, you know. Uh, makes you feel better is a good thing. Yeah. No, I think it's been it's been really nice. You know, yeah. 3 o'clock on uh, pretty much most uh, Thursdays they've been providing the service. I mean, it won't be the last one with that crew that you'll ever see. Yeah. You know, they'll probably have one coming back before school starts. They may do a midsummer one or something, you know, every month or so. Mm -hmm. But as far as the weekly updates, that's gone. I got to tell you, I don't know anybody else who watches those at 3 o'clock. Oh, 
Except maybe Kim from Seacoast Current. Yeah. You know, you and Kim. Yep. Yeah, we, I know. We talk about it all the time, she yeah. and I. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, I'm but glad you found a friend. It's going, it's going, <laughs> going away. Yeah, after yeah, it's going you know, away. I mean, the thing is, we've got the red phone over there in the corner. We do we have the, the bad, bad phone. phone, yeah. It's going to ring any second. Now. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> like Sarah, you know, <laughs> don't you watch me too? No, I do not. <laughs> I like you at all, but I don't watch your press conferences. Uh, and they usually last, what, 45 minutes or something? Oh, no. they had, Most of the, if I had to say an average one was about an hour and 10 minutes. Uh, last week's oh, was 52 man. minutes. Wow. And when they closed it down, I went, no. How that was, did they only, do that was that only 52 pro- minutes. Programming wise, they've got to like fill, right? They cut into, um, yeah, it's uh, Tamron Hall's show. Oh. They, she'll start her intro and mm-hmm. then they'll, pew, they'll just breaking news. Cut right in. Cut right into it. And then they'll go, pew, right back. And usually by that time, it's Ellen, but uh, it was double Tamron <laughs> Hall last week. <laughs> All right, we've got Who Are You coming up next on The Shark. It's time for the game that's sweeping the nation. Who are you? Who are you? Guess the famous celebrities in just three clues or less. Everybody put your hands together for your two hosts and your two players, Sarah and A-Train. <laughs> ah. I love that intro. Oh, it's great. Uh, <laughs> all right, my theme this week, this might... This might be the worst one going, but I, Sarah, if you get this one, I'm going to fall right off the chair. Okay. It's one tune June. It's uh, basically, you know, one hit wonders from stars of television and film. Now, usually we've been doing big stars of television and film. Uh, this guy is not a big film star at all. He's a TV star. He's not even, you'd call him that necessarily because he's a soap opera star. It's not Rick Springfield either, obviously. Okay. Uh, this is kind of interesting because I, my Nana, you know, she liked the young and the restless, and I remember him very well uh, performing as a singer, portraying a singer, Danny Ramalotti on The Young and the Restless back in the early 80s. And sure enough, uh, he's had it's like a fledgling uh, singing career in the 70s and the 80s. And then in 1989, it finally happened for him uh, with a cover tune mm-hmm. that was on uh, the the Corys. You remember the Corys, Corey Haim and Corey Feldman? Yep. Remember uh, Dream a Little Dream? This is a number one hit for this guy who's been singing. He's Mr. Handsome, Mr. Handsome. He actually, on uh, The Facts of Life, played the boyfriend of uh, Joe, uh, who is Nancy McKeon. You know, Joe on, mm. on the show. She mm-hmm. was the Not Scott the, Baio. The one. No, but it's the Scott Baio type. Mm. I think once I tell you the song, you'll get it. All right. Here we go. What's the song? It was a cover of David Essex, Rock On. Hey, Keith, yeah. rock and roll. Oh, and I boy. was I was so offended at the time. It's, uh, is that his my, name Corey? No. No. Nope. Uh, uh, I was so offended at the time that my Nana's soap opera star covers David Essex and ends up getting a legit number one, a U.S. number one charts, uh, his rendition of Rock On. Wow. Oh. Uh, no, I don't know. Okay. Um, uh, initials M.D., Kind of last name sounds, uh, you know, like... Uh, the, All I can the, think of is Matt Damon, but... I oh, that sounds Damon. very close, because his last name is like the same guy from The Omen. And it's... it's Oh, yeah, it's, it's, sorry, it's not going to... Michael Damien. Michael oh, Damien had that Michael one Damien. hit, and yes. he was... Uh, remember him, Mr. Handsome? Yeah, kind of. Uh, I thought I thought maybe this would be a crummy one. Yeah, yeah. He's only 59 years of age. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, my apologies to Michael Damien. Mm-hmm. May you may you uh come out of your I apologize out of your world to him too. Of obscurity. Because I <laughs> cause I remember when I was just like this is David Essex. And how is this number 1? You were I was offended? Yeah, it was 1989. I remember okay. being being like, "What well, this is a cover of the and he, you know, come on." All right. Well, it's this guy's birthday today. Uh, this guy was born June 17th in Logansport, Indiana. He went to the University of Arizona, and he played the gay guy in As Good As It Gets, one of my favorite, oh. favorite, favorite movies of all time. Happy birthday, Greg Kinnear. Greg Kinnear, ladies and gentlemen. He's wildly popular, uh, wildly talented, because he's a terrific host, too. He is. He actually was the very first host of Talk Soup. Yeah. He's a great uh, TV yeah. host. And though. he had a late night show later with Greg Kinnear back in 1994. 
Just an incredible actor. So happy birthday to Greg Kinnear. If it's your birthday today, happy birthday to you, too. We've got Tears of Fears all the way next on The Shark. Favorite part of today so far, Train? Well, just to start the show, we had uh, that ghost in Danville. Oh, I like that, too, I yeah. gotta say. I mean, you know, you got uh, Kingston Road in Danville. There's a woman uh, that drove by a ghostly figure that just disappeared after she drove by her. Yeah. Ooh. ooh I thought that was pretty crazy. You know, it's kind of neat when it happens, you know, in our state. Yeah. Well, it happens more than we think, I think. Mm. I mean, these stories come out around Halloween, but I am of the belief that uh, ghosts are everywhere. Yeah. If you want to call them that or whatever you want to say, I think they're everywhere. I don't think we have enough of a history in this building that we have ghosts in here. No. In the building that I used to work in, though, up in Maine, oh. a guy died in one of the studios. He actually died on the air. Oh, wow. If that isn't a dedication to radio, man, I don't know what is. But anyway, yeah, he actually like dropped dead huh? right there in the studio. So <sighs> it was it was said that occasionally this guy would come back to, you know, Ah. Visit the studio. Friendly guy. Okay. Okay. So he was a happy spirit. That's Seemed a good very thing. Very nice. Yeah. You don't yeah, want those yeah. ones that throw stuff at you. No. No. They're really bad. <laughs> uh, yeah. So my favorite part of today, mm, I don't know. I'm gonna say that Michael Damien's probably very happy that someone has uttered his name <laughs> since the year 1991. I mean, hey, he's got more number one <laughs> hits than I ever had. <laughs> That's true. I can't believe it was number one. <laughs> hey, we've got uh, the Workday kickoff coming up next three hours of continuous classic hits commercial free. Michael Jackson kicks that off next on The Shark. The Shark wants you to hit the road this summer on us.